go ahead and introduce our first guest. Let's go ahead and get into the show. We're in celebration of National Craft Month. I'm so excited. And Heidi Borchers probably needs no formal introduction. As an eco artist before the world went green, Heidi has been trimming trash and glittering garbage forever. Perhaps you know her as Eco Heidi. Today she's sharing her fun technique of turning plastic water bottles into dimensional floral jewelry. I'm delighted to welcome Heidi Borchers. Hi everybody. Thank you, Tiffany, and welcome to National Craft Month uh, for uh, crafting. I have been showing you all my water bottle bracelets. These are where you just take, <clears throat> excuse me, the water bottle and you just kind of cut it apart like this. Got all kinds of cutting apart. But today I wanted to show you a great technique that I came up with to take the bottoms of the water bottles and make them into jewelry. You know, Tiff, could you put that one um, screen up of the, the necklace? You probably get a better shot of the screen with the necklace. Um, I sent Tiffany a, and then while you're doing that, I'll put my camera down so you can see what I'm going to do. You have different parts of the water bottle. You have, after you've cut the, the, all the bracelets out, you're going to have the top and you're going to have the bottom. So what are we going to do with them? I'm going to have the cap too. So what are we going to do with them? We're going to make them into flowers. So the bottom is like this and what I've done, if you can see this, get this, I've got my camera off to the side so I'm kind of just keep watching over. See how I've kind of cut, I've kind of cut in and made this into a flower. And you can do that on any of them. Now remember that water bottles have all kinds of different thicknesses. So what I do is I just simply cut with scissors on some of them. Some of them I can just cut right in. And other ones that are really kind of heavy, I have to use a craft knife and cut in. Now, I'm going to do the heat gun just for a second, so it's going to make some noise, so I won't talk for a second. Whoops. I'm going to make some noise for just a second. And you see? Now, did you see how that kind of curled up? And I'm working on a tile so I don't uh, hurt my space. So that's what I have. And I painted some of these here, too. So I painted my pieces after I've got them um, where they heated. I painted them with... Um, the paint for plastic, but I also found at the chess show this great new paint. It's eco-friendly paint. It's by Eco Green Crafts, and it does work if you use a um, sponge, like a facial sponge, and you just dab it on for a couple times. And someone I can just see looking over there is asking if you can use a hair dryer. You can't use a hair dryer because it's not going to get the plastic hot enough. Here's the caps too. The caps snake little flowers. So what you do is you're going to cut them, and again, you have to cut them with the um, knife, just kind of cut them down. And then again, you go with the, hit, with the heat gun. Oops. And then sometimes if they're not hot enough, they'll just be warm. You just kind of work with them. If they're really hot, what I do is I stick like a a metal lid over them, and this is what you get when you trim them. Now, if you're going to connect them together, you're either going to use a paper punch or trusty old drill and just drill them. And we'll show it one more time here, all the, what I just showed you. This is the ones that uh, we just heated up a little bit. This is the, um, the caps. And I drilled them, and then I put buttons in the inside, and then I connected them with jump rings. See, they're connected with jump rings. So you have the bottom of the bottle, you have the caps, and then the leaves are made from the top sides, and they're all connected together. And it's really cool, too, if you look and see that some of these are really shiny because I was able to, whoops, I was able to paint the inside of them. Oh, someone's asking how I painted them. These that are in this necklace, I spray painted with the Paint for Plastic by, um, I think it's Krylon. But I thought, well, that's not very eco-friendly. So what I did recent, more recently is I take the, I take this eco 
the eco-friendly paint. Take a little bit out there. And we're gonna, and I just start to dab it in. And I do about three different layers of the, the paint and it works great. Well, that's about it. I mean, it's so simple to do. It just takes a few things, and we need to recycle. So let's take those plastic bottles and make them into green bling. I also have a book. Check out my website. It's HeidiBorchers.com, or just, if you can't remember that, it's Eco Heidi. Check my blog frequently, because I do all kinds of fun things on my blog.